Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sash and welcome to another 5 and 5 episode. Basically in these 5 and 5s I will talk about 5 different things, opinions, recommendations, places, whatever in 5 minutes. It's as simple as that. Today's episode I'm going to be talking about my top favorite places to eat in Vancouver. This was really hard. So I tried to think of ones that I have gone to quite regularly in the three years that I've lived here. So without further ado, I'm going to get really hungry doing this because it is nearly dinner time. So let's get up the timer. I do have a fan going. I do apologize if it's loud and I've got a couple of windows open. It's summer and it's really hot here in Vancouver. So <laughs> sorry. Alrighty. Five minutes is counting down. Let's get started. So number five place to go and eat to go have a little nib is Earl's Earl's restaurant uh, what a staple what a staple of Vancouver I can't count how many Earl's restaurants I have seen in my time of living here whether it be in Whistler or on the island in Nanaimo or Victoria or the many different locations here in <laughs> Vancouver I even worked at an Earl's I was an Earl's girl for about three months it wasn't my cup of tea uh, to eat there amazing they have it's a chain but the difference between Canadian chains and somewhere like Earl's and a chain in Australia like La Pocetta no shame but like I just thought of that one uh, the quality of food is insane like you can get options if you're vegan gluten free dairy free any allergies like they have something for everyone on their menu and I'm not even like joking about that the appetizers that they have there are so many of them they have beyond meat burgers they have oh the buffalo cauliflower they have so many different things whether it be salmon steak they've got beautiful pastas they have new dishes all the time it's a very well-run machine and they know it and their drink menu is insane they've got like sangria froses they've got margaritas that are so good and their happy hour the happy hour is amazing. It goes from three till six, and then I believe it's 9 p.m. onwards. And it's just such a good place to go have a drink with someone because you can get a drink and a few bites, and it's like 20 bucks in happy hour. It's amazing. Anyway, so Earl's we love. Uh, number four, Nuba slash East is East. So Nuba, again, a chain. East, and, East is East, I believe there's two restaurants. I don't know if they're anywhere else in Canada, but definitely in Vancouver. Middle Eastern food, I love. My mom uh, was brought up with an Italian father and a Lebanese mother, so my grandma was Lebanese, so I love that cuisine. It's just like close to my heart and they do it so well. East is East also has entertainment. I don't know if it's every night, but they have like a full on um, like belly dancer and music's playing and like, it's great, it's a good time. Just taking, checking the time, I've got two minutes left. Uh, and yeah, you can just get like an amazing spread for two people and it's a reasonable price um, The aesthetic of the restaurants are just amazing as well and the servers are always really lovely So that's number four number three due to the weather in Vancouver Most of the year it's cold and you want something hot and warm and delicious and spicy and hearty and that's ramen Ramen here is insanely good. My two top favorites are ramen butcher, which is uh downtown kind of towards Main Street way and then Gyoza Ramen Bar which is on Arbutus and Broadway near where I used to live. I just can't even tell you how it's like 11 to $13 and it's so filling and delicious and the meat and the egg and the broth it's amazing. Get ramen while you're in Vancouver. Those are the two top places. Uh, number two, Taco Fino. I love Taco Fino so so much. Again, another chain, it started in Tofino, Takofino Tofino, out of just like a food truck. It's so fresh, like Mexican food. I eat it all the time, I'm sure you guys have seen it in my vlogs if you watch my other content, but Takofino, a win. Melbourne would love it. It's just a very Melbourne, Mexican sort of restaurant. And again, the aesthetics are just Instagrammable. It's amazing. And number one, this was a toss up. I, mm, DL. DL Chicken Shack. Download Chicken Shack on Commercial Drive is next level. I've never had fried chicken like I have in Vancouver. I haven't really had fried chicken many places, but like around the world. But Vancouver does wings really well. Like Earl's wings are great. But DL, I can't. Like, ooh, DL chicken is so good. You can get like a, a 
sandwich with like like the bread and butter pickles the cabbage you can get these loaded fries you have to ask for them i believe it's oh, like i think you say like dl special fries and it's basically like loaded fries you get chicken bits and it's just like amazing it's not on the menu but you ask for it and they'll give it to you and it's just such a well-run team you can see there's like 20 people in there and when you ask for the pile of thighs they're like pile of thighs and they like yell it back i don't know guys it's really cool if you like fried chicken oh, it's amazing but anyway i didn't go over time for once i've got five seconds to go Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video and let me know if there's any places you'd like me to check out or if you'd like me to, yeah, do another video. I'm sure there are so many more places that I've eaten and that I love, but they're my top five. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell because I know a lot of videos go missing within the algorithm. So that would really help me out so you can see my content that I put out every week. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.